This video is all about a question that I see all the time. It's super valid and it's easy to execute once you know the steps involved, but it's all about, can I make an option trade that is based on the price movement of the underlying stock that I'm trading on? For example, if I have an option contract in my portfolio already, can I sell it when the underlying stock price hits X amount of dollars? That's what I'm gonna show you here today, how to use a conditional order inside Interactive Brokers to get that done. In my portfolio, we have some options trade. We're gonna look at this Tesla 130 call lock that's currently in the positive profit. We wanna lock this in and close this trade if Tesla's stock price hits a certain level, not the price of the option contract itself. The option contract is currently trading at 134 and change. The price of Tesla is currently right around, well, it's right around 252. So to do this, we would right click on our option contract in our account, assuming we already had one in the hopper. That's there live. We would then go in and look for order ticket. If it's not showing up here, it's gonna be one of these little tools to the right, or you can just search order ticket, okay? And pop that open. And inside this order ticket is where the magic really happens. So we wanna set this up correctly because if we don't, we can really screw ourselves over here. So first things first, we have a position of one. We want to sell this call option. It's profitable. We want to sell it when it hits a certain level of Tesla's price. So we wanna sell right now. And then we wanna make sure that we're time enforced good till canceled because Tesla's stock price may not drop the way we need it to to close out this trade in this current trading day. So we make sure it's good till canceled that when it does do that indefinitely, when it hits that level, we know we're covered, okay? This is a now limit order show. We wanna change this to a market order in this example. And this is going to automatically fill it as soon as we hit that level for price, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. It's going to hit a market order, put it in and hopefully get it out without much slippage. Next. And this is the key thing here. After this is done, you want to go into conditional. And this is where you add in the underlying requirement for Tesla's stock price to hit a certain level. So what we want to do is hit on add. Okay, we want to go price, go next, underlying. This is where you pick the underlying stock. And I'm just going to go Tesla right now. It's going to click enter and then go into stock. It's going to populate the Tesla kind of information here. I'm going to go here and just go to last. And now the key, key piece right here, the operator greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. We want to go less than or equal to because Tesla's stock price, again, it's about 252 right now. We want the price, let's say, to go down to 240. So if Tesla's stock price goes 240, we are going to exit this call option. That's how we're setting this up right now. So finish this, and we can see that the logic is in there now. We would just go ahead and click on submit order or transmit down at the bottom. And you can also, if you want to toggle on allow condition to be satisfied, and activate outside regular trading hours. I don't normally use kind of outside trading hours for any of my trading, so I don't think it's really necessary, but do what you wanna do. Uh, it's there for you if you wanna click it on, click it on. Okay, we click submit. This will go in the hopper, and now we have that sell order for this call option again. At the Again, if we open this up and click it, at that conditional price of 240 for Tesla, okay? If we would've had the operating signs greater than or equal to 240, this would have executed immediately and our position would have been sold off right away, which we don't want to necessarily do. In this case, we want Tesla to kind of work and keep growing up. So we say if it gets back down to 240, then we're okay with it kind of going ahead and selling out and closing off with some profit. Now that's how you set it up for an option trade you already own. What if you want to flip it around now and you want to set up a new options trade based on the underlying stock price and get into a trade when it hits a certain technical level? Well, Let's look at something different here. Let's look at AMD. And AMD has been on a bit of a heater lately, starting to rev up a little bit. Let's say if it goes down to 170, we want to buy a call option. I'm going to go out a little bit in time in my option chain here. Let's go out to August 16th, give it a little bit of time to work. If it doesn't actually get down to our 70 or 170 price in that kind of 39 day period, we just wouldn't get the trade executed. So no big deal. But if it does, we have 39 days for this trade to potentially get executed. So what we're going to do here is look for some big volume in this example. I'm going to go right here to this 180 strike price right at the money. And we're going to go, boom, right click, order ticket again. And again, the current price of AMD is 177 and change. So we want to do a buy this call option. We want to make sure that's good until cancel because again, the price has to be given time to drop from 177 down to 170, which we're going to execute in a second. 
Um, so if it doesn't happen immediately or on the same trading day, then not having it on a good till cancel just will negate this trade uh, in, in, a, in a second in the day. Next, we want to make sure our quantity is what it needs to be. We're going to do one in this example. And if you wanted to keep a limit order price, it's really a lot likely to get filled because the limit order and the price of the option is, is based on the stock price that's underlying. So if the stock price has to come down by $7, this limit price is going to drop by X amount of dollars as well. So it's never going to get filled if you use a limit price from the way that I'm thinking about it. So let's use a market market order right here. That's going to automatically execute at the kind of going market rate, whether that's $10, $9.50, $9.38, whatever it may be, the price of this. If it does drop from AMD's price, this will also drop down too, and it'll get filled as a market order. Now that these things are set up, again, we go into condition and we can do the same thing here. We can add a condition for price. We can go AMD this time. Hit enter, stock, last, right? The AMD stock price. And now again, if it is less than or equal to 170 bucks, we're in the game, okay? We're gonna transmit this again. And now that's in the hopper, right? So we have an AMD call option, 180, August 16th to buy. Based on people open this up again, the condition of the price of AMD has to be less than or equal to 170 bucks. So whatever gets there, the order just doesn't get filled. And after this expiration date goes by, and it gets past August 16th, this would just automatically just be canceled. Um, you could cancel it yourself by clicking the cancel buttons that you can see right here. If you wanted to go in and update it, you could do that too. You go in, condition, edit, and you can change the stock price to, let's get a little bit closer, 175, okay? And let's just do this and finish that and update, transmit. And again, now if it hits 175, which is a little bit closer to the current stock price, it's gonna go ahead and buy this option for you. So if you have a good idea of what option contract you wanna get into, you can go ahead and set this up. It's not really something that I would typically use because I like to make my options trade more live based on kind of live data, not just kind of set it and forget it. But if those of you who don't want a huge time commitment, this is a great way to get in and say, hey, when the price of X stock gets to a certain level, I'm going to buy this option contract. Easy enough. And if you have one in your account already, if the price gets to X amount of level, I'm going to sell this option contract and bank my profit. And if you have an option contract that you want to get rid of, again, it hits X dollar value for the stock. It's gone, poof out of your account. You can set this up, put the good till canceled on and get ready to sit back and relax and hopefully let the profits roll in. My name is Andrew Ferguson and I teach new investors how stock options work using the Interactive Brokers trading platform. If you like what you saw in this video, please consider subscribing to the channel today. It would mean a heck of a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.